Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Grim Fandango where we were currently in a dark dank kitchen in a jazz and blues club in the beautiful town of Rubicava. I have actually... I don't get the feeling those cleaning supplies are used much around here. No, no, they're not, Manny. Completely buggered up the order here and taken us to the wrong place. But we did get here a lovely spot of poetry. And acquire a book which we required. Ooh. Oh. Those coffin shooters are quite powerful. We will be needing them. Remember correctly. Hmm. These bees don't seem too busy. There cold goes. one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. I run an honest joint. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers. All laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. So, why aren't you up there working? Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you pay for Why them? don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh... Uh, the solution that makes the problem uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew ways like that. Register a complaint. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. I have your tools. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Maximino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Can I borrow your union cards? Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? No semen naranja. You guys know a semen naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. Do something you about You bees it. are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. Nah, you complainers. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! 
Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out of work bee. Huh. Which is why we fortunately picked you up. A spot Labor of... organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh. Better not show that to Gladys. No, not at all. Let's spread some communism. I don't really want to do that. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say we fight back! Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay hey, down your tools right pink. now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Logan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Shit. <laughs> uh, sorry about the bees. So, what are you guys doing to free Terry? Hmm, guess it's up to me. They look busy working up a plan to free Terry. Okay, so we've just introduced socialism to the population. Let's uh, jet on up out of here. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Yep, this is the morgue. And the mortuary, whatever. I think Membrio could really use a nice tropical vacation. Any leads? I know it's a poor coroner who blames his tools, Manny. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. Oh, yeah, what a sad full. story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. Ah, Membrio, you are cheerful. How's business? How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. What exactly are you looking for? What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Can I help? Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. 
How do you do this job? How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. <laughs> Sorry. Old coroner joke. Ever worry your job is getting to you, Membryo? Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, Membryo? Well... Forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. Why do you stay in town? And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth? You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well... Don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Yeah, Membryo's a cheap, cheerful chappy. And above the coroners is the... Fuzz. Hey, Terry. Poor Terry. This is all my fault. Hey, Terry. That was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry. I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick! Before the movement loses its buzz! Anything on the Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials H.L. I think I can remember that. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving... H.L. Be the great Hector de Mans. I do believe it's back up here and back to our set place, the Calavera Cafe. That thing. Gross. Lola, Lola, where are you? Who's that up in the lighthouse? Lighthouse. Hey, you lazy bees! Get off your abdomens and get to work. Yeah, this sort of like gives you little tips, so there's somebody up in the lighthouse. Lola Lola. Right, back up to the Calavera. Seeing as all the objectives are intertwined, we unfortunately. Hey hey. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have a note for- Lola. Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me- Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Oh, thank you. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Oh dear. Hey, Glottis. Manny, the police chief walked through and I tried playing a song for him and he yelled at me. Oh, don't sweat it, Mano. He's just mad because he lost at the tables. Isn't he always supposed to win so he keeps liking us and never raids us? He wouldn't raid us. It's a holiday. Just had a run in with Domino and Meche. I just had a run in with Domino and Meche. We're leaving town. What? What? 
How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. All right. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. Everything okay down here? What happened to Monsieur Bogan's lucky streak? It ran out. Why? So did he. Let's talk to good old Chow Chiller. Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Meximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here. Take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Okay, ciao, ciao. Thank you very much. So we're off to the kitty races. Music is just fantastic. Continue down here. And we need this bridge over here. Rubicala looks nice and everything, but... I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. <laughs> Rubicala looks really nice and everything, but I imagine it's a pain in the ass to get around. Like, what is the point in having a bridge this long? Zeppelin? I've saw it. Manny, just run across the bridge. And if we go up here, it's the docking port. Wow, Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. This is an old friend of Manny's. Ah, Carla. A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. Busy night? Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle, What's the shuttle waiting, waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. How come you don't swing by the club? Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. Can I try your metal detector? Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? Secret project. I just want to borrow it for a secret project. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. 
it's time I for think break. it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny, and so am I. What kind of business goes on there? What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Oh, I don't Why don't off. I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, nothing. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. So what we need to do is, uh... Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Have a little quaff of this. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. Maybe I don't too. think I could swallow any more metal right now. So, now we've got metal in our stomach. So... I told you... Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Oh, I did just burp metal in her face. Ah, okay, another swig? Well, maybe just a sip. Environment. Ah. Actually, yeah, you can get gold detecting metal detectors, can't you? I think so. Otherwise, how would they keep on finding all those, like, hordes of treasure from, like, the Roman and Saxon times? Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. There you go. And that should... Ooh. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Quite like the slurring. Rules are rules. <sighs> oh, and of course, with my dad thing. being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself That's never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Well, actually, Don't figs you just are a love personal prunes? favorite. They have such a great I'm texture. I'm never a big fan of prunes. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, mm, <laughs> dates. Poor grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember Some one Hedwig, time back that's when I was an interesting six. Name. Or maybe I was seven. This no, 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 no. On. I had to be ah, six, six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Mr. Rufus? Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. I'll we didn't bet. care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would Have come out sounding like a bark? cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I remember I hair. had a hairball once. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. No, they're harder to pick out of the grill. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. Oh, no, that's a good point. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. This I guess it's because I'm so shy. Hours, I was shy all the way through high school. Yes, you seem shy. I never went to a you single dance. You actually get dance. an achievement Can you if you it? manage to survive <laughs> all the way through this. Don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but... I'd just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. She always said, a well, smile is the most right. important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I and supposed to smile when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, daddy wouldn't have left I, us. Uh... We'd be together right now, you, Yikes. me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. Rufus. Yikes. And I'd be wearing I'm my funny. homecoming I'm queen not. crown and eating figs and, and, and I... I need to call my bookie. Oh, Mother! And? <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> yeah, 
let me hold that. Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Calamar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Well, that's Carla dealt with. These lockers have a note on them. Employees. I don't care who's doing it, but please, stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. Hmm. They're locked. They're lockers! Let's see if she talks. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. Guess not. When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. All right. Well, that's Carla annoyed for Bye, now. Carla. Drop dead! Already have, baby. Now let's go see the gatos. Hey! Please do not leave children unattended. Looks like a great night for cat races. Yeah, I'm not sure how they do cat races. But they race cats here in this world. God knows, that sounds fucked, but... Okay, so... For your own safety! It just appears to be filled with sailors. And this wow, is somebody really liked this cat. And this is one of the giant scary cats. Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia One, on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. Whatever, that cat scares the fuck out of me. Fucci, that smell is peor que la muerte. Oh no. Yep, here's the Kitty Letter. Been nicking that. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Giant can opener. The detector went in here. This cat litter really needs changing. See? This is why I don't have a pet. So we need to poke it out of it. Yep, you can hear it. Aha! There we go, it's slightly worse for wear, but... A little stinky, but it could be worse. Still serviceable. Right. All we need to do is pop up these stairs. What a there. race! Oh, no, up these stairs. Claws of Fire, Prince, Prince Winky Taka. Could go either way. Winky Taka. That sounds like a euphemism. Prince Winky Taka, <laughs> right on the heels of Claws of Fire. Okay, we're going to leave it there, folks. After that, we're going to go straight to a VIP area. Alright. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time. Coming into the home stretch.